Sportsmanship is a crucial aspect of sports and it requires athletes to behave with integrity, respect, and fairness, and also involves accepting the decisions of officials regardless of the outcome and not resorting to trash talking or aggressive behavior. But when emotions get heightened, things can go really bad or they could witness a very touching and heartwarming moment between two rivals. We're about to dive into some crazy situations showing both sides of these issues with examples from sports, from our sport as well as others. But before we get into it, like, subscribe, share your comments as you watch this and let us know if you've personally experienced good sportsmanship, bad sportsmanship, because we know it's out there. So ladies, um, we all have competed on the stage. Some are still competing. Mm -hmm. And in our sport, we see it. Yeah. Um, but it's not just mm -hmm. our sport. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we, of course, have a lot. It's competitive drive. Everyone's personalities can take things to a whole new level. Have you guys ever experienced personally bad sportsmanship? Mm -hmm. Of course. Like, oh, yeah. Do yeah. you want to share? Oh, I mean, I, I don't think I have been the one that, that has displayed poor sportsmanship, yeah. but I've definitely experienced it from other competitors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seeing it. Yeah, and it makes well, there's, you. There's like three categories. There's like what you've what you've experienced with your athletes, what you've experienced yourself, and then there's mm -hmm. also what you may have seen on stage that didn't have anything to do with you. Yeah, and so like of those three, I would say I've experienced something in every category. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. I've been I like witness it a lot now, oh, sitting in the do. audience and yeah. watching. I show bet you do. Show in oh, every yeah. division. And like watching the facial expressions and kind of like the athlete, sometimes they're really, they've been very good, but I actually saw a situation where uh, Give Craig the Titus, oh. way back in the day, oh, wow. That's he a name. lost it uh, on stage and it was just major. And I was actually asked about this mm -hmm. particular situation. It's going to be on VH1. Really? And this what? guy, he's, well, he's, in, prison yeah, he's, he's in, in prison now. Yeah, he's in yeah. prison. Yeah, so it just shows, like, kind of like a person, like, uh -huh. it comes, it's that person. Yeah. yeah. Right? Right? To not have that type of control, especially right. your professional or amateur, right. doesn't matter. Yeah. But he was a professional, I think he was trying to. He was coming close to turning pro. Oh, he wasn't pro. I don't think he was pro huh. yet. Yeah. And he continued to lose the USA, which is really yeah. shocking because, you know, he, he's not pro yet. He's trying to turn pro. Yeah. But at the end of the day, this guy's in prison. And they asked yeah. that question about um, if I remembered that. And I. And oh, I wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So definitely that was a personality trait. That personality he's trait. Wow. So what did he do? Can you share yeah. what he did on yeah, stage? Like yeah, like he picked up something and threw it. Ooh, at the judges? Okay. I, I don't know if it, if it was at the trophy, but it was oh just, gosh. I know it was like you remember real the situation. obvious. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, obviously sportsmanship is a product of true character and emotion, and a true champion is gracious in defeat and humble in victory. But most examples of bad sportsmanship are accepting a result uh, or accepting, uh, not accepting the result <laughs> of an outcome. Yeah. We and want them to obviously, it. It. we've had these examples mm -hmm. in our sport. Let's oh, go yeah. with these. Nico, if you can roll a video, uh, there's these two um, situations <laughs> that were pretty popular on the internet. Guys, recently, a video nikal kar aai hai, jis mein ek men's physique athlete ko contest mein prize ko kick karte dekha gaya. Unka kehna tha ki ye corruption ko kick hai, kisi bhi tarah ki corruption, kisi bhi country mein kick karni hi chahiye. ये इंसिडेंट एक कॉन्टेस्ट में विनर अनाउंसमेंट के बाद हुआ और रनर अप जिनका नाम जाहिद हसन शुवु बताया जा रहा है उन्होंने ऐसा किया और प्राइज को किक किया बार बार ऑन स्टेज में आप देख सकते हैं All right, Nico, how about you hit that second one, the second video? This is a, an athlete punches a judge. <gasps> no, no. <gasps> no! Oh, no! My what? God. What the heck is he thinking? What? That 
was a crazy punch. No, it's crazy. Done. Yeah. And I bet yeah. you he never, better oh, never step he's on He's never competed again. another day in his life because oh, that is just not yeah. acceptable. God. I don't so, care. I mean, sadly, it's, and these were, um, <sighs> you know, in doing some of the research on this too, it was kind that of refreshing to know that That's there weren't crazy. a ton of these examples in the U.S. Mm -hmm. A lot of these. I like how you put the silver lining on it. I like, know. There's not a lot of these. I oh mean, good. <laughs> it, because that's pretty scary. It's mm -hmm. like once people see it and it's more publicized, right. then it's like more people are off to do it. They're going to just mm -hmm. be yeah. like, oh, well, I'm not. I'm going to be famous somehow. Yeah. Well, well, not there's the way a, to go. What about, you guys, uh, bad sportsmanship now that we have social media? Yes. It's like we see physical uh, you know examples, but I feel like most of the examples Ooh. are what people mm -hmm. share after the fact because they may yeah. be they may act like they're totally fine, mm -hmm. but I've seen people at the top top levels act like they're handling it well on stage. Yeah, congratulating the winner on stage, and then they go on their social media mm -hmm. and they go on like a a whole tirade. Yeah, and they bring all their followers with them, and I mean I've seen that happen. It's oh yeah, some of the right. people you would least expect it. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, and that's why, you, like you said, I mean, social media. Back when you know the Craig mm -hmm. Titus situation happened, there wasn't social media, that's right. so the story's out. And if you didn't really hear about it then, mm -hmm. or you didn't see footage, or you weren't live, mm -hmm. you're not gonna see it. Yeah. Right? And then it just kind of disappears. Well, that's not the case anymore. No, no. not anymore. Whether you regret yeah. what you did, or yeah. you're like, oh, hell yeah, now mm -hmm. everyone knows who I am. Right. Either way, it's not yeah. always the best, and yeah. it would be interesting, I think, mm. to kind of go back and look at the success of athletes in our sport yes. Yes. who have had an absolute meltdown I don't think they, on they're, stage and what happened. I think it's, yeah. it's death. It's death. Yeah. 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 death. It's death. Definitely death. Yeah. Without question. You know how like the, um, the promoters they sometimes make the big giant checks like um, yeah yeah the cardboard yeah. checks. Yeah. I always love those. I know they take a lot of work and it's a lot of thought that goes into that from right, the promoters. But how do you get it home? I no, what I actually the question because I, I know have them. when I, I love them. Together, I always think I, love I them carry too. mine on the plane. I carry mine on the plane too. Right. But I remember I I had it was a pro show I won and the promoter came up to me and I was walking out with my check and I was so excited and I was so proud of this check and he came up to me he's like I just want to thank you for you know because I I was like took a picture with it and he's like I just want to thank you for you know looking like you're really appreciative of that and mm -hmm. I was like of course I am he said because second place threw hers on the ground oh <laughs> oh really <laughs> yeah so that 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 is like these are pretty extreme basically examples yeah. but a lot of people like I, I know a lot especially like a lot of NPC athletes yeah. or mm -hmm. maybe even pros but they will get their trophy and they'll throw it away, like they'll yeah. they'll yeah. throw it mm -hmm. afterwards. It's just like yeah. why? Like why? Why do you even compete? Right. Yeah. Why do you even? Compete? Why do you even compete? Why do you even compete? You know, like uh, so. There's this thing, passing out the trophies, right? So when you're a trophy presenter, yeah, we have to teach trophy presenters because they think, oh, this is going to be really simple. No, it's piece not. Of cake. Oh, and no. I say mm. to them, I said, listen and understand. Your job is very important. Yeah. So understand that these athletes, they don't know the place things and so when they say in fifth place in fourth place like you have to pay attention and know they said fifth place number 12 and kind of look and because number 12 is going to be in shock and number 12 is mm -hmm. like no way it's not me I'm not fifth and they just kind of like yeah, they yeah, get yeah. lost yeah, yeah. yeah. stand there I said so you have to go over and guide them and direct them and be prepared yeah. that everybody, they're all not happy, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so like, that's always just an interesting yeah. dynamic mm -hmm. yes. Yes. of yeah. fifth, fourth, third, second place. Yeah. And well, okay, here's, I have a thought on this. So we all have that, that feeling when we're disappointed, we have to, to some degree, we have to exercise some discipline and uh, wherewithal to handle that situation the way that we know we're going to be proud of ourselves mm -hmm. later on because we all feel that, you know, and caving mm -hmm. into the emotion. I would be willing to bet that a lot of people that cave into the emotion regret it afterwards, you know? Yeah, I would hope. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I don't think, think everybody in, would. Yeah, they down. definitely do. Yeah, yeah they, they definitely do. I can't imagine people, because in the mm -hmm. moment, you're caught up with all this emotion. We all have that emotion. Yeah. We've all been disappointed. I mean, let's be real. All mm -hmm. of us have. Yeah, Absolutely. experience that and in your head and in your mind you may be feeling and maybe you wait till you get to your hotel and you cry <laughs> but 
<laughs> but we all feel that, right? And that's okay. That's not yeah. being a force. You have that's, to force board. That's reality. Yeah. 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 But you give yourself a chance to take a step back and genuinely uh, train yourself to be happy for the person who got what you wanted. Mm -hmm. That's what you wanted, and they got that. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like even as much as I want something, I, wa I want people to the got it to be able to enjoy it the way I would want to enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. That's Absolutely. a great tip, though, because, yeah, yeah it's like, okay, well, how do you take something that's an unfortunate situation and turn it into gold? Well, okay, flip your mindset to be yeah. happy for them so that when it's your time, yeah, because it will be your the time. The karma will mm -hmm. come back, mm -hmm. right? And people will be excited for yeah. you to win. Yeah. yeah. And especially like today with social media, if you play second and like the audience, they they'll make an a kind of show oh, their yeah. energy yeah. and yeah. how they feel. Yeah. Yep. And then it, let's say if they don't and then you get you your second place and then you go out into the universe and now it's all on social media. So you have to, you'll see people in the room talking about making, the, you don't have to say anything. Yeah. Like it's not your job. Don't worry about it. Just, yeah. you've done your job. Yeah. Yes. You know, and so, yeah, because yeah, people are stand in. up for you. The fans will say, yeah. hey, well, I thought this and that. And then that's yep. also the opportunity, the big girl opportunity. Yes. To not chime in when they say something negative about the person that plays Absolutely. first. Yeah. Don't go in agreement and say, oh, yeah, well, I agree. Yeah, I didn't, you know, I was confused because my abs are so much better. Right. No, just yes. leave it alone. I don't even leave those comments up. Take the high road. I don't want the person who is enjoying the victory to even see those comments. And I will, mm -hmm. like, delete it. I do the it. same. Because I'll I don't, they don't too. deserve that, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, because well, you don't want to look like you're acknowledging I don't, negativity. It, right. yeah. yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. I have a question. I don't know if you remember the Pittsburgh Pro. I know you competed oh my God, I because think I, know talk about. I interviewed yes. you, and I can't remember the athlete's name. And he, yes. it, I, I mean, I think I do, but I'm not going to even uh -huh. mention it. But I interviewed him as yes. well Yes. before the show. That's the one I was thinking of. And it was did not go well for him. <laughs> um, yeah. I think it just got second. But that's the first time I, in person, witnessed. I was lined up. I was like, oh, were you? Stage. I was, yes. I, was like, I had a front row seat to that. So what happened? Okay. He, <laughs> yeah, he, you tell it because I didn't get to see all of it. I was, my, I was skewed, and I, what I saw was not good. Oh, <laughs> he started yelling, and he threw his trophy down, uh -huh. and he made a big scene about it. You were mm -hmm. there too, right? No, no, not, not there? that one. No. Oh man, and I remember, and he stormed backstage, and all of us, we were lined mm -hmm. up. We we're like, whoa! And he storms. He was so mm -hmm. upset, just and so mad. And all of us were just like. Wow, he's gonna regret that later. Was I mean, it yeah. what division was it? It was Men's, men's Physique. Men's Physique. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. It was pretty tough, but it was quite the scene for the yelling at the judges, yelling at the athletes, yelling at the trophy. Like, it wasn't the best. I want to know. Um, what it is. Yeah. However, Ooh, I do bad. know that he has survived yeah. and he's actually oh, really? done pretty well. So he did not die. In I know this some point. do survive. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a good learning. You're not done if that happens. And here, I would say. If you cave into your emotion in the moment, it's not over for you. You, you gotta know, but it. don't double down mm -hmm. on it. If you if you truly uh, you know feel bad about it and you come after the fact and you try to make it right, um, people will tend to understand if you really show that you feel bad about it because we all it, we all have that in us so I think to some degree we can all relate to the feeling but being able to contain yourself is the hard yeah thing. yeah. We're going to take a quick break, though. We've got more crazy videos, good and bad. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. People always ask how I got here. I was willing to work just a little harder than everyone else. Every damn day. If I can have hundreds of hours back, you know I'm going to grab them. Spending hours prepping chicken, rice, and vegetables, F that. I rely on perfect nutrition. I rely on trifecta. And we're back with more examples of good, bad sportsmanship. You can't avoid it in any athletic sport. And I did say there wasn't a ton of stuff in the United States in regards to bad sportsmanship, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you guys a clip from 2014 Olympia, of all things, the biggest show of our sport. Ooh. So let me just play this, and then I have some questions for you guys afterwards. So okay. hit it, Nico. I, I did have a side bet 
with my buddy Isaac Hines that, that there could be a, some physicality between between these two. <laughs> Kai's hair just hit Phil. <laughs> so, I know. Does that I was about count? to say. I, I, I think I would. You see the roundness. They should whip that hair around. From the shoulder. I kind of miss this era. Ooh, wow. Oh. The beef they had. Yeah, that is deep right there. But see, see, Phil. That? Yeah. Phil's handling it. Just Bill's right. handling it really yeah, he, well. He really is. He's he's a champion, you know? He doesn't need to be giving into that. That's right. Where's John Jones? Yeah. So, Nico, you can stop it. I mean, that's just, you guys remember the rivalry. Yeah. But here's oh, my yeah. question. Yeah. Because we see these press conferences. We Ooh. know there's hype. It's kind of promoted. It's yes. kind of, they, they urge it. Like, so, it's kind do of like, you think that's entirely real? Or do you think say. some of it is to build the hype and the like I competitiveness? Think, I think they build the hype at the press conference and yeah. they, they kind of want, especially in the bodybuilding yeah. division, yes. they yes. want the heat. So yes. when these athletes leave all of that energy, they're kind of just continuing that a little bit on stage. Yeah. I don't think it's because yeah. Kai really hates Phil, right. but they're, mm-hmm. they they have that like rivalry that they've been kind of yeah. like, like pushed into. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. And it's interesting because it's like you said, with bodybuilding, like I know with the men, like that to me is acceptable and some of it's yeah. kind of, yeah. I know there's some real in that, yeah. like the way Kai did that. I'm like, yeah, he really, because yeah. Kai, he was in the situation where he wanted first yeah. place and he was yeah. chasing, you know, Phil and yeah. uh, all of that. But um, with women's bodybuilding, for me, yeah. They tried to get us to do yeah, a little bit of that. Yeah, it doesn't and work. Talking and doing work. the WWE yeah. SmackDown. No. And I'm like, no. <laughs> well, you can't I really can't get away with WWE. it when you laugh or you smile. Well, You're like, yeah. girl, I'm going to kick your yeah. ass. <laughs> okay, let's be honest. I don't, yeah, I'm not let's, feeling that. Let's be real, though. I mean, look at hockey. Look at this is how people, mm-hmm. that's how they sell yeah. tickets. Yeah. And I mean, the Kai Green and Phil Heath a dual rivalry that was selling so many tickets and they're it always was, yeah. wanting some type of rivalry mm-hmm. that's what gets the fans hyped up you know and so to some degree i think it started off as um i mean i think anyone who knows that there's like somebody that is a direct threat mm-hmm. yeah there's always going to be the you know you you have like the kindness towards them mm-hmm. but you also this is the person to beat yeah so it's a very interesting <clears throat> dynamic Mm-hmm. So there's obviously naturally going to be some of that there, mm-hmm. and then I'm sure that they play it up and they're encouraged to play it up, and that's their you know that's how the tickets are being sold. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. but you know what's funny though, like the what we just saw with Phil and Kai, you see that actually in almost all the men's divisions. Yeah. Like I've seen yeah. like even, I've even mm-hmm. seen like you know when they've had Breon and Chris Bumstead, oh, like yeah. you know, Breon gets got has gotten a little feisty. Mm-hmm. I've seen it with the men's physique, you know they'll just like be trying to like out, yeah. out yeah. pose. Right. Yeah. Go, yeah. But he's like spread. Yeah, spread yeah. out. Yeah. All you hear is Steve the yelling <laughs> to separate them. But come on, man. But if the women, if any the women's division did something like an no. elbow, oh my god, oh that my girl, and if the, the, the same thing, it would be a completely. I mean, I have seen story. that, mm-hmm. but. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. If I've Trish Stratus it. starts competing, we might have that. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. it's, I mean, I got to see, I got to travel. I was fortunate with some of the Arnold classic mm-hmm. tours back, you know, all those mm-hmm. years and would see them together. And I can honestly say there were times I'm like, wait, do they get along? Or <laughs> do they, they actually do yeah. get along? But I yeah. truly, my impression is I think it was hype initially. And yeah. then I think it really did build some controversy. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then I think now, oh, so like, they the see each other and they have good blood still. Yeah. So I think mm-hmm. it's kind of gone through an evolution of it does. friendship, yeah. competitor, it does. enemy, and then back yeah. the other way. It goes through an evolution. That's yeah. absolutely yeah. correct. Yeah. It's correct because, yeah, I have some stories. You know, I would How much do you want to share? Yeah. <laughs> share it all. I have to share on... on like my side of being on that side of like yeah. maybe not having good sportsmanship, but I'll, I'll talk about that because now we're talking about what we see on stage, right? right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we know as athletes what happens backstage, and yeah. And as you're saying, the evolution yeah. of that. And so I remember the way the camaraderie of the women 
in the early 90s. Mm -hmm. Now, with women's bodybuilding, it, it, there were like 15 girls, top 20 women. So we mm -hmm. know every single athlete. It's not like 40 girls backstage or 60 yeah, and you yeah. don't have a and relationship. And you know them on a very personal level. I know level. them on a very yeah. personal level. So I retired for that five years. I came back in 2002. And of course, by this, we have a new champion, right. different women that have won the, the sport. And it was just a different energy backstage. Yeah. Mm. Back you know, in the dressing yeah. room. And I was like, What's going on, ladies? It's like they There's had that rough about that. and tough kind of masculine, yeah. like, you know, like independent, yeah. like not yeah. working together. Yeah. Yeah. And I was used to that. Yeah. And so that really bugged me. And I'm like, what's going on back mm -hmm. here? Oh, I like, bet. You know, you know what's what's to me? Like, what's the problem? Yeah. <laughs> We're not friends. We're sharing. Right. <laughs> I, think, I think it really comes, like, I've noticed that even, like, in the bikini division, there'd yeah. be an era where the girls were very catty to each other, mm -hmm. and they weren't getting, mm -hmm. like, it was just, like, you kind of stuck to your, like, in your own corner mm -hmm. backstage. Yeah. And then they went through an era where everyone was, like, super friendly, and I think it really comes down to who that champion is in it that does. division. Mm -hmm. And who, what that energy is. Yeah. yeah. I'm so in agreement with that. Yeah. I'm absolutely, I totally agree with that. Kind of and, yeah. that standard. Yeah. and you and I, we, we both know because we've won the title mm -hmm. and I was in a situation where I've yeah. lost the title mm -hmm. three times. I competed in yeah. Olympia 11 times and three of the 11, I've placed second. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I know what it's like to be, you know, yeah. in that spot. Initially, that first time, um, it was weird. It, it kind of yeah. punched me in the gut. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I think, too, I mean, when you're a champion for so long, you become royalty, and there's a lot of people that end up on that stage who have been watching you and following you, and then all of a sudden they're sharing the stage with you. And I know this, I remember a situation, this was my first Olympia, and Nicole Wilkins was mm -hmm. um, competing, and she was royalty, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, the girls didn't really know how to talk to her mm -hmm. or approach her. And that wasn't, she's just a very calm and reserved. She yes. She's um, right. very regal in the way that she presents herself. Mm -hmm. She's very soft spoken and everything in that. I'm, I don't know if it came across, it didn't come across the wrong way to me, but I. Some people can just it, read that. It totally. wasn't that yeah. she, was, it, she was unapproachable, it was yes. just that she was royalty, and I think people were <clears throat> so intimidated by her. Mm -hmm. And I almost felt bad for her because I could tell, you know, that must be a difficult situation to be in, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. You're, you want to, you don't realize why people aren't coming up to you to want to talk to you. <laughs> but yeah. you know, the thing is, too, like in that championship role, yeah. you are representing the division, yeah. you're yeah. trying to grow. There's so many things being a champion represents. Right. And if you do kind of put off that vibe that you aren't approachable, yeah. then you've got to change it. Like know in who our yeah. industry, you've like, got to change it. Knowing your role in this in this dynamic because yeah. really you're setting the tone. And yeah. you have an opportunity to yeah. do it. Mm -hmm. So as the champion, you can be the one to make mm -hmm. people feel at ease. You can be the one to bring energy backstage. Mm -hmm. um, you can be the one to get people in that division right. and mm -hmm. want to be part of it. Mm -hmm. But so again, to your point you know it, it could have been an opportunity yeah. even if she's shy to say yeah. hey this is totally out of my comfort zone but mm -hmm. I have an opportunity yeah. to really bring our division mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. and embrace it mm -hmm. and whether or not you utilize that or not is yes. completely up to that but, person yeah. Yeah. but I'm gonna actually speak to the other side of that too because you guys know from the champion standpoint you mm -hmm. guys take that really seriously that role mm -hmm. but if you're coming into the situation you're not necessarily the champion I think you have a role too and I think yeah. rather than a Allow yourself to feel so intimidated. Um, just walk right up to somebody. Yeah, you know, like true. walk right up mm -hmm. to the champion mm -hmm. and maybe um, instigate that conversation or you know instigate that energy. Because mm -hmm. I mean, I've never won an Olympia before, mm -hmm. and sometimes it can get kind of cold backstage. Yeah, and I wonder. Yeah. you know, I am a veteran. Like I, I probably should drive some of this energy a little bit. I mean, yeah. maybe I'm not an Olympia champion, but... You but, see, but by yeah. you being a veteran, then you understand the dynamics of what's going on backstage. I do. You may already know, right. like, for example, that Nicole, like, she's quiet, yeah. or not as talkative. And you, so you can go up to the yeah. other yeah. athletes. Yeah. Yeah. You know For what sure. I mean? You're a veteran. Yeah. You're a champion. Do you. you. You belong where you are. Yeah. You understand the dynamics. Yeah. So you have a responsibility also to go up to the other athletes yeah. and yeah. make yeah. them feel comfortable. And, yeah. This is part of sportsmanship. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And it's, I mean, I'll say even being a champ, um, it's, it's awful because you can experience some bad, I mean, like you said, Absolutely. with social media. 
I mean, I personally experienced it too. Even social many. media is the worst, like, and everybody's just not going to be in agreement. And yeah. you learn right. that the more Olympias you win, like yes. my first Olympia was like wonderful. Then as I won yeah. second Olympia, then yeah. it was like I had I can't be everybody's friend. Like everybody no. wasn't yeah. going to be like loving on Linda Murray. Just, yeah, just the way you just <laughs> and yeah, sometimes it's to be not fun to have the same yeah. person mm -hmm. win. So yes. they're like, mm. yes, and but, I always yeah. and I like also, they stop rooting for you. Maybe I recognize. I can tell you being in first place and maybe it wasn't really a solid decision like yeah. everybody wasn't in agreement so the person that was placed second I know they weren't like very happy about right. it they didn't display that on stage but maybe just through social media or just different things mm -hmm. I, I'd learned it learned that I, I can tell you being in first place and it's not being clear that you were the first place winner, that's oh. uncomfortable. Yes. You guys don't have if to say split anything. it's decision, yeah. You don't have to say anything. But understand, I look at that person in second and I think, listen, you got to handle this. If yeah. you want to be in my spot, yeah. then you got to <laughs> understand because what you're doing is this job <laughs> is very important. Yeah. yeah. So my question is, is when you get there, yeah. then what? Right. You say yeah. you want this. Right. You say yeah. you want this responsibility. Yes. Oh. But when you Linda. get there, it oh. comes with a whole lot. A lot of yeah. Yeah. Well, and when they, all men, you know, all it's men. like it's the same thing. I have from my own division mm -hmm. and again, fitness division, we're all close knit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was not used to it. And it wasn't my first one. First yeah. one was like, yay. Yes. Second <laughs> one. From you're feeling a little bit athletes more of the coldness. And, yeah, I mean, there was some bad stuff that really even was you're reposting. Wow. It's like, why are you co-signing <laughs> yep. this? Yep. Because again, if you get in this spot. Yeah. Well, how are you going to feel? And yeah. do you want people doing that I would, to you? And yeah. Exactly. And that's exactly what I think about. Like when I take second, I've taken second a lot. Yeah. And I, and then people will be like, you should have won. And I, and I'll take that comment down or comment right after say, you know, so-and-so really deserved it uh -huh. because, mm -hmm. you know, honestly, I have to accept the judge's decision. And when I accept the judge's decision, it doesn't matter how good you were, you can always get better, okay? Yeah. So if that's the only thing that you can focus on, then focus on that, right? Yeah. If you can't change the result. Going and, and, you know, trying to cause a scene on social media definitely won't change the decision. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So, yeah. I get really passionate about this topic. No, yeah. I agree. And it's a, a good topic for, our, for us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You start thinking about it, and you start thinking about examples, and it really does kind of build up, bring up some emotion for sure. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's not just our sport. I mean, we see it in so many other so sports. Many. So um, I found a clip that I wanted to, oh, to yeah. show. Oh, yeah. uh, the NFL, NBA, Nico hit it. Let's see. Fights off a one-two pitch to stay alive. And that's Detroit. Yeah. Whoa. Cleared in an awful hurry. And listen to the fans. Like, they are loving it. it. <laughs> They're loving it. Oh, God. Mosh pitch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he just wiped his butt with it? Yes. Oh. And that's why when you do flag on the they put different things in play. Oh, that's just. <laughs> and then throws it into the audience. Uh, Some will probably still oh. caught it and happy. Oh. Yikes. Not cute. That's a low blow. I would have a hard time not fighting. I can say that. <gasps> well, oh. some of these games that are like close to the Super Bowl and the oh, big, yeah. like, they they get heated. Emotions yeah. are just so high. Emotions. I think. Thank goodness for instant replay. Makes it so much better. <gasps> Ooh. Yep. Oh, 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 that looked like it hurt his it. head and his elbow, like twisted backwards. Oh, not Detroit again. Uh, you guys <laughs> behave <laughs> No. Now you're actually sending you. <laughs> Come on, Detroit. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a little brutal. Oh, yeah. No! Oh, yeah, he, oh, oh. He, that Did he thing, go over again? Oh, yeah, like, that was... Congratulations? Yeah. He was a little bit... Mm, that was a That was, that a, was a hit. hit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Hit. How did yeah. he not get a foul? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. 
Boom, without a helmet and cleats? Wow. Oh gosh, so we could watch this all day, but my point is, uh, it's not just our sport, Yeah. but course. we're not gonna end it on a bad note because we got some other examples of good sportsmanship, okay. but we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back. <laughs> We are back, our third segment, and we've talked about a lot of bad examples. Sadly, that's the reality, but sports always have their precious good moments, mm -hmm. and we ended with some craziness that we see in pro sports, MLB, NFL, NBA, but let's see the good side of those sports as well. Yeah. Aww. Oh. Oh. The dad was happier than the kid. Etched across the face of Mitchell. Oh. Mm. And the respect. Uh, that's cute. Oh. From two guys that will be tied respect. together for a long time. That's the key, right? Lock it up! 50-50 battle concur as he ripped it away. Wow. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Like, what a moment, right? Oh my god, yeah, that picture. Woo. <laughs> Top tier play brought to you by Arco by Trout. <laughs> Isn't that funny that you have like the power to make so many people happy? And really? like, oh, really? might be like the best moment. power of yeah. all time. You know, it really does. Like what you can do with that platform. Each player. Oh Aww. my goodness. Oh, that kid was so cute. That's a good one. And he says, How do you do? Yeah, Edelman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. That's so awesome. Oh, he's like, Go to the locker room, Dad. <laughs> So important because we're all in this together. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is really and you can so go ahead and stop. Well, and you know, and these oh. and the the team sports, the professional team sports, you never know if you're gonna be drafted and be yeah. playing with mm -hmm. that Again, person. Yes. And so a lot of you're these, so right. So yeah. a lot of these guys, like you Good see point. them, like you know, like help each other up or things like that. And the, a lot of them are friends because they have been on mm -hmm. the same team. Yeah, that's but true. Our our sport, it's kind of like it's an individual sport, yeah. but mm -hmm. teams, you never know where you're gonna be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. for yeah. sure. You know, and all these athletes, they're always asking about sponsorships and being sponsored. And I'm like, listen, guys, like the way it works over in the like NFL, if you if you got like bad energy and you're yeah. a bad boy, then Coca-Cola, they don't want to, they don't, yeah. they're not going to put you a Wheaties. You will not be on the cover of Wheaties. Wheaties? Yes. So the same here. If you want to throw your trophies and be upset and yeah. Yeah. be happy about it, like how do you expect? your to translate that's who you are right. like to translate over into the money yeah well, like i'm still here yeah. because of i feel like the people that i work with and yeah. who i've worked with like over yeah. the years yeah. yeah well that's a good that brought, brings up another good point which is when you get to the top what are you going to do with that win if nobody's mm -hmm. rooting for you right mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, yeah. How, everyone how wants to just see you fail right how fun is yeah. it to win if if you create all these enemies getting mm -hmm. there I mean, yeah, like at you, the top. you wanted it so bad, you have it, it and is. now everybody, everybody's just like not rooting for you, and I don't even know how you can enjoy that. Right. Well, sound like very yeah. fun. <laughs> well, and you know, since we're females and we're perfect, I mean, <laughs> the, the best <laughs> example fabulous. of good yeah, right. sportsmanship is going to come from two rock stars uh -huh. in the tennis world. Watch this clip. This I actually posted Aww. this on my own Instagram because I was so touched. Mm. by the good sportsmanship and the authenticity of it. Mm. So let's play it. I didn't see what happened if she was favoring anything. Bianca's going over. This is Serena Williams with Bianca. Oh, that's beautiful. 
the match is... Which one won? So, so is it over? And and she and won, and is, Serena was having a hard time. Oh, so, oh I see, because Serena lost. Yes. I understand. And it's hard to she hear, is. but she's... I love it. See, so that you know, she's saying, I'm your, I've been following your yes. career. I know every. She said, I know that you've been having so some fabulous. injuries, yeah. and and yeah, that I mean that was to, her moment. She just beat Serena. Yeah, that and goes she to did that. a situation. I feel like when I first lost the Olympia, and I didn't know what that felt like. Mm -hmm. Right when I first lost, and. I behaved wonderfully on stage. I smiled and all that other stuff. We didn't have social me media back in the day. So, you know, after the when the next week, two weeks, you're doing photo shoots mm -hmm. for the magazines. Mm -hmm. And I'm there, right? I know these photographers. Mm -hmm. I know all the judges. I know everybody. And my the place where I was not, uh, as far as sportsmanship, is from a place of insecurity and being uncomfortable with second place, I remember I kind of wanted to talk negative about the girl that won. Mm -hmm. And I expected the photographer, like we're friends, we're buddies, we've been working together mm -hmm. all this time. And I did, it wasn't real like, like super like out mm -hmm. there, but I recognize For you to my recognize behavior that now is yeah. and yeah. the fact that it was like, hey, you know, like I know you're uncomfortable, Linda, you're yeah. not, you know, you have to go through the next year. You d defended the title and yeah. you lost and you played second, but that's not yeah. cool. Like this girl, and actually her and I were the best friends out of all my Miss Oli other Miss Olympia. Uh -huh. I love her dearly, but I was uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. From but you're a place admitting of that insecurity. to yourself. Yeah, so I yeah. get that with Serena. And yeah. That, and yeah, and there's nothing wrong with being real. Mm -hmm. And well, the that's fact how that you can yeah. actually, again, go, wait, this isn't yeah. the me that right. I want to portray yeah. this yeah. i gotta find a way to break out of it the people who can't We're not realize that mm -hmm. it makes it rough. well and i feel bad for the 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 reigning champion mm -hmm. if they if they don't retain Definitely. that title mm -hmm. because everyone's watching yeah. they're mm -hmm. after like afterwards they're they're yeah. people how they react people are like checking out the social media a little bit more just mm -hmm. seeing yeah. how their yeah. reaction is yeah. going to be so they you are. have so you, very... you might be feeling certain emotions but you have to swallow it and you, you just do. have to like still walk high mm -hmm. and that's yeah. very hard to do but mm -hmm. you know what the thing is it's like that's your opportunity to shine yeah re there's mm -hmm. one place to go yeah. when you're at the top there's one place to go you can't stay there forever yeah it's going mm -hmm. to happen yeah. yeah. So it's, handling yeah. it yeah. with grace yeah. is truly kind of a talent. And when you're at the top, right. you've got you got to brace yourself. You've got to prepare right. yourself mm -hmm. for that day. Right. And and know how to handle because you're yeah. right. The eyes are on you. Yeah. Isn't that when true character is really established? I mean, you you learn your character in that moment, and you also other people are learning your character. And sometimes, like you said, you there's a situation where you were so proud of yourself for how you were able to handle it. Yeah. Going into it, you knew how you thought you would handle it, but mm -hmm. when the time came, you're proud of yourself for handling it that way. Right. And I think yeah. that that's we're we're learning about ourselves in this process, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Because we don't ever know exactly how we're going to handle that situation. I don't know what it's like to be yeah. multiple time Miss Olympia and then like lose the title. That would be a lot at stake. That would be mm -hmm. a, that would be a huge feeling. I would probably handle it. It would be hard to handle. I don't know. I want to believe that I would handle it a certain type of way. Mm -hmm. But that's why we should never cast judgment on people. We all have these feelings. Yeah. Um, but we do learn a lot about our character and it's a it's a chance for us to create and and establish a character that we want to be perceived as. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, and the thing is if you want to get back on top, the way you handle defeat will determine if anyone's cheering for you to get back on top. That is so Absolutely. true. Oh, God, that's so true. Now, what about our youth? Obviously, yeah. good sportsmanship, bad sportsmanship. We're cultivating this we with are. Yeah. our younger generation. Oh. And sadly, I mean, there's a lot. You guys have probably seen in the news about these, you know, yeah. these Pop Warner football games and Little League games, and the parents are in the stands Just fighting. Going nuts. <laughs> like, what yeah. is, is that if doing? A, if, yeah. if a kid displays bad behavior, that's all coming from what they've learned at home. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Mm. But I found two clips that are, they're just so sweet and seeing the heart of these young athletes that I hope grow up to be pros and really represent. So Nico, play the video clips, please. Oh. 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 
Oh. Oh. oh, my goodness. Luckily, it hit his helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the kid that just got hit? Yeah. yeah. This gets my Oh, my God, I'm getting chills. Because he was probably crying. Yeah. Oh, wow. The pitcher was crying because he hit him. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> and they're boys hugging. That's boys. Yeah, right? they're boys. And this is little, like, this yeah. is a huge. I remember when this happened, seeing it on um, Sports Center. Oh, my gosh. Because this is a huge, this was a big, big game. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That, that yeah. It's, and there's another one, so. <laughs> Oh my Prepare gosh. Yourself. I know. I said I wasn't going to cry. <sighs> oh, and the music. <laughs> what just happened? They just won the game, oh, but okay. he struck out his friend. I see. He struck out his friend. His, his whole, like, childhood friend. <laughs> I know the song. <laughs> right, yeah. So take the time to chat with this friend before going to before celebrate. Before yeah. celebrate with his team. Yeah, it's probably the music too, because yeah, that. The music is yeah. great. It's like the, Sarah, it's like the Sarah McLaughlin song yeah. with the pets. With the dog. Do you <laughs> yeah. want to adopt a dog? Yes, I do. Absolutely. Like, no. Would you like to adopt a child now? <laughs> yes. Who has good sportsmanship only. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, obviously, it's, it's around every day in all of the sports that we participate in and that we witness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's just so crucial that we try to, I feel like, interact with others in the best possible light mm -hmm. yeah. and more importantly recognize when we're not on our game yeah. and we make mistakes and we're human mm -hmm. and you know what it's easy it's easier to have a bad sportsmanship and yeah. it's easier to portray like you know it's it's it can Magic. be it can be harder and portray strength yeah. by mm -hmm. taking the higher road and being a good example. Yeah. yeah. Definitely not easy, especially when you know you want to go back to your hotel room mm -hmm. and cry and, ah! I, I so love about what we're doing right now mm -hmm. uh, that we get the opportunity to talk about and like show the inside, like yeah. behind the scenes and I'm looking at you guys, mm -hmm. tears in your eyes, your champion in, mm -hmm. in the role and you take it so serious and people just don't understand. Like we, like that is for me the example of that an ambassador. That, yes, an ambassador. It's it just goes deeper. And sometimes there are others out there yeah. mm -hmm. that they win the title or they play second or third and they're not happy and you see yeah. that bad behavior. And it's always for me, mm -hmm. especially being in this situation, it's always for me an indication you're not gonna last long. Mm -hmm. Right, you're yeah. You're so not gonna last long, and you so don't get it. You so don't understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and I think it's important for the athletes, especially in bodybuilding, since it's a more individual sport, but everybody wants to win. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And everybody has worked hard. Everyone yeah. has made mm -hmm. sacrifices, yeah. you know? And I think mm -hmm. some people forget that there's other people that are, yeah. Yeah, they're that not are the that only have actually ones. worked to get there too. Yeah, yes. totally. and, and you have to remember that. Everybody, yeah. there's individual lives and everybody has the same goal, but only yeah. there can only be one one winner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And maybe it's not your time that day, yeah. but a lot can change very quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you want to make sure that people are cheering for your day, but yes. your true character has to be there. Otherwise, you'll find more enemies than you will friends. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but make sure to like, subscribe, watch everything on Olympia TV. Why? Because we are fun, entertaining, and we are better than primetime muscle. Ah! Just say, <laughs> way is. more fun. Oh, yeah. That's sportsmanship. <laughs> yeah. That's a little bit of bad sportsmanship, but true. Just kidding. We <laughs> didn't learn anything from it's her just episode. Facts. Yes. Sorry, just, guys. Sorry, just guys. Just giving the facts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how we rationalize just it. Just the facts. But thanks for joining us. That wraps another episode of Finflex Friday, and we will see you next time.